I do not mean to pick on Rahner and Balthazar. They were the finest theologians of a century. But they are examples of a kind of creative rethinking about God's nature that was being done in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. After these heroic theologians passed, after the giants of the initial post-conciliar post-conciliar period, retired, there would arise theologians who were not nearly as smart, but now, perhaps for the first time in millennia, described their vision of God less according to the creeds and more according to identity politics, as if looking in a cultural mirror, they might envision God as a woman or as gay or as Hispanic or as a polyamorous therapist. So over the long run, far too many students are exposed then in this period to visions of God very much like what Ludwig Feuerbach said were the only visions of God possible, mainly a mere projection of ourselves, capricious and changeable in the divine nature, just as we can be capricious and changeable in the human nature.